I guess this, this is for both guys, Bumper, maybe we take it first and, and see. Um, you know, a lot of chances, obviously. But, you know, camp's been so reliable. Uh, how convinced were you guys he was going to hit that? And you guys say something to him, especially Bumper being a captain, did you say something to him, kind of lift him up after that? We all could have made plays, you know, not force that situation. Cam's won a lot of games for us, so just part of the game. Um, I've never seen that kind of bounce. Um, but, yeah, we're going to love him up. Moving on, um, Cam's a great kid, and he'll bounce back. Yeah, like Bum said, Cam won a lot of games for us. And we know things happen in football, so we're not worried about that. We know he's going to make the next kick. That's all we're really focused about, and we're really – the focus shifts to Alabama now. For both of you, maybe single first. Y'all started off the game with uh, four straight three and outs. Uh, what was the key to that hot start? And then what was Texas A&M able to do to start moving the ball? Um, and um, is a pretty is a very good team. Has a lot of good skill players. Max Johnson had a great game. Um, AJ had a great game. He started to get them rolling a little bit, and the momentum started to shift a little bit in there. But um, I feel like we was just playing our game, focusing on our keys, making sure our eyes are in the right spot. But they have great players on their side, too, and they started to make plays as well. Yeah, like Simeon said, we had a great, you know, week of preparation. And so coming out of the gate, you know, we were locked on our keys. And as the game gone, went on, you know, they went to things that worked for them. Um, I thought we did a good job finally, you know, kind of correcting some things late in the game. But, you know, you got to you gotta adapt quicker. Um, you got to make the plays. You got to wrap up. You got to tackle. Um, but you know, credit to Aiden. They're a they're a great team. Remember, maybe you take this first and so, you know, Max Johnson didn't have awesome numbers, but he didn't turn the ball over. He seemed to scramble pretty good, made some passes you didn't expect. So, what do they get his play, his impact on the game? I thought he did, you know, enough to, to win the game. Um, he's a he's a good player, and he never panics. I mean, every you know, you know third down or something, you know, he made a big throw, um, and they just kind of kept those. Kept those plays going all season or all game. Um, but credit to him, he did a really good job. Yeah, like Bum said, he did a great job at scrambling, getting outside the pocket. Feels like we was going to have him, and then he'll make a circus throw at the last second and complete it. Um, he's definitely a great player. He has some great players around him, and I feel like he just made plays that helped him win the game this week. Obviously, really tough loss match. You got Alabama coming in, so you need to flush this pretty fast. How do you guys do that? And, and- how do you think you'll bounce back against Alabama? Yeah, we're already on to Alabama mentally. Um, we'll obviously go in and clean up things from the tape. But I thought the team, you know, we fought hard. Uh, we needed to make stops. We made stops. We got the offense, you know, tracking down the field um, to give us a shot to win. So there's a lot of positives, um, I think, with the resilience of the team. But just too many errors. And when you play the SEC, one play, two plays are, you know, the difference between a win and a loss. Yeah, like Bob said, when you're in game, these SEC games and the conference games, you have to – you can't play perfect, but you have to play close to perfect as perfect can get. So I feel like we're not uh, – we're definitely worried about this. We're not worried about this game anymore. We're just going to correct the errors that we had, and our focus is strictly on Alabama right now. Uh, Bob, you know, Devin and Shane, I guess he had 159 yards. What would you think of him? Yeah, he's a great player. Um, he's a, you know, great, you know, center of gravity. Um, thought he ran hard. You know, they have a lot of talent. Uh, and whenever you're in there and you make mistakes and guys like a talent like that can beat you, and, and they did today, or they, you know, they beat us today and they were, uh, you know, well warranted. Yeah, I feel like he's a great running back. He's – he looks small, but he's actually bigger. He runs behind his pass very good. He's very fast. He has a he has a quick first step. He gets out on you, and then you have to catch him. So guys like that, you got to keep bottled up and don't let them use their speed. For both guys, just heading into next week, what's going to happen with the priorities? I mean, every week, um, continue to uh, work on you know making sure we're not missing tackles, um, work on our angles. A lot of that comes with, you know, good eyes, um, making sure we're communicating. It's all tied together. Um, one play can, um, you know, you got to flush one play and go on to the next. I thought we, we did well at times with that. Um, but overall, as a defense, we just need to lock in our eyes and our keys, making sure we're all running the ball. Yeah, like Bump said, our eyes running to the ball, making sure we tackle better. And also just staying focused enough to be able to play four quarters of good football, not having – 
a quarter here where we slip mentally or a quarter there where we slip mentally, but actually playing four quarters of good football. Thanks, fellas.